Well, good morning, Calvary. It's Black Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to break down all the best deals on TVs, home goods, toys, and home improvement products to make you make the most of this Black Friday season. Wait, no, that's not right. Now, see, this is your word for the day. There's enough videos out there that are talking about consuming products and where to find deals. And we take a little different approach because in your word for the day, we take a small section of God's word and apply it to our everyday lives to help us live the life that God designed us for. And today it's only fitting to share Proverbs 22, 7 with us because it says the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender. See, it's Black Friday, and so we want to take a moment to just talk a little bit about debt and about consuming and about stuff, because Scripture is very clear about debt. In all its references to debt in the entire Bible, it never mentions debt as a tool, as a resource, or as a help. It only lists debt as a trap, as a danger, as an item that wants to, to, to bring us in and trap us. And yet all over our nation today, and probably even starting yesterday, people are storming through the doors of their favorite stores or feverishly adding items to the cart on their phone. Some of which they need or could use, and most of which is just stuff that's cool and on sale. And all of this reminds me of being a kid and getting the JCPenney Christmas catalog. You guys remember those? It may have been the Sears or Montgomery Ward catalog for you, but I distinctly remember the days that those would come in the mail. My siblings and I would fight as we ran to the living room with this over who would get it first so that we could go through and circle all the things we wanted. And it never failed. We would say, oh, we're just going to mark a few things. We would end up with dozens of items circled and they would be things that we would just have to have. Now, mind you, we didn't even know these things existed just moments prior. And if we did know they existed, we didn't care about them until we saw them in those glossy pages of the Christmas catalog. And I thought this was a thing of the past until this showed up at my house a few weeks ago. And wouldn't you know it, as my three and six year old saw the Amazon Christmas catalog without any prompting, they began to flip through and say, I want this and this and this. And we've got a bookmark in here to a page with dump trucks and monster trucks and race cars that I can only imagine is here from my son. Now, there's nothing wrong with buying things. And, and, uh, but unfortunately, so much of the day of Black Friday is done with money that people don't actually have. See, I read a, a report that said 57% of 2019's Black Friday spending was done with debt. Here's some practical encouragements for you today as you approach Black Friday. First, let me encourage you to resist the cultural temptation to purchase just for the sake of purchasing. We all have plenty of literally everything, and we have very few needs that are going to be met on Black Friday. So be different than the world around us. Don't acquire more just to have more stuff, because stuff doesn't actually fulfill us. Secondly, be intentional with your spending and make purchases that you plan to make anyways for Christmas shopping or for yourself. Because there's nothing wrong with saving some money on sales, but be intentional and get stuff you actually need for yourself or for some holiday gifts. And third encouragement is to have a budget of money you actually have to spend and stick to that budget. Because a sale is not really a sale if you don't have the money for that item. So don't be like the 57% of people today who buy stuff with money they don't actually have. Because as much as we want to say the debt is a tool, Scripture calls it a master that we are a slave to. And our only master should be Jesus. So approach today differently. Approach it with intentionality. Approach it without debt so that you can experience the financial freedom that God has called you to. So have a great and debt-free day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.